I was just thinking back over the last five years of my life as a nomad and thinking about how scared and fearful I was about going into this lifestyle and traveling full time. What I realized is that change is inevitable, especially after what we've gone through in the last couple of years. People have lost their jobs, our careers have changed dramatically because of the past, we've lost family, we've lost friends. We've changed in how we spend our time. Things are different. Time is moving quickly and things can change quickly, which leads us to feel like we have no control. When I first decided to move into an RV, I was pretty scared. I let the fear of the unknown grip me and all of the what ifs plagued my brain. What if I got stuck? What if I couldn't find a place to park overnight? What if it was a creepy place? What if I sold everything and I hated it? What if my RV broke down and nobody was around to help me? What if it's too dangerous out there? What if I completely fail? <laughs> But what if it was this incredible journey that allowed me to grow as a woman and a human being? And what if it was the best experience that I've ever had in my life? What if? Here's the thing, you'll never know the answer to that question of what if until you try. And if you don't try, you'll never find out. The number one key mistake to avoid is not taking action on your dreams. Oh no! Fear actually can be good if you know how to use it correctly. Change can be uncomfortable. I think we all understand that. There are some of us who really love change and there's some of us who completely detest change. But no matter what boat you sit in, it still can be uncomfortable. It's natural to be afraid of change and let doubt and fear worry you. It makes us uncomfortable. It makes us stressed out and we can feel anxiety over it. But if we can embrace the uncomfortable and subsequently the fear and realize that our mind and body is just telling us that this new idea is foreign and to put on the brakes a little bit and think about this before we move forward, then we can understand that being uncomfortable is actually an incredible opportunity to make a big impact in your life and possibly others. I always say this quote, I love it and I live by it, and that is, on the other side of fear is your greatest reward. Think about that. If you overcome that fear, on the other side of that hill, that mountain that you've just overcome, you're going to feel so amazing. You're going to have this really great experience and you're going to feel accomplished and just pumped up and full of strength. The other thing about being uncomfortable and fear is that sometimes the story that we tell ourselves is not actually true. There may be a version of it that it's true, but most of the time it's just really amped up and the whole thing can be baseless. amazing what a difference a day makes coming from the desert out to the beach. Aww. I'm loving it out here. What if I didn't try and I let that fear really take a hold of me? I wouldn't have this amazing life that I have out here. I wouldn't have the freedom that I was looking for. I wouldn't have this joy that I have in my heart from traveling. I wouldn't have the business that I have. I wouldn't have met these incredible people along the way. I know for sure that I would feel regret because I didn't follow my dream. I 
would always wonder about what could have been. So let me ask you, what if you don't try? What would happen to your life if you didn't try and you let the fear overcome you? Would you wonder what you could have missed? time of year where we're reflecting on last year and how we can improve ourselves this year and set some goals. And before we continue, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Maybe one of those goals for you is to find a different source of revenue. You can start a new business or just make extra cash so that you can quit that job that maybe you don't like right now, or you just want to start working remotely so you can go off and be a nomad too. Well, Skillshare has you covered with thousands of classes to choose from so you can find that one thing that's going to allow you to meet your goals and have a banging year. You can browse the classes to get your creative juices flowing on what kind of a business you can start. Here's an excellent class on Skillshare from Brooke Glasser. Make a living as an artist, strategies for crafting your creative business. I'm telling you, there are so many classes on here for you to choose from. Look at this one. You can even learn to create and sell NFTs. This one JPEG photo sold for, you ready? $69 million. I think I'm in the wrong business. It's a digital photo, $69 million. Yeah, I need to take this class. If you take this class, turn your art into an NFT, join the world of digital art with Benji Wilson, then you can find out how to cash in on this new craze of NFTs. But if being a creative artist isn't your thing, well, you can learn how to be a freight broker or buy and sell stocks. Skillshare has so many incredible classes for you to choose from that you're bound to find a business you want to build and learn the skills to create your dream business. So if you're ready to start your own business and work remotely, or maybe you just wanna hone in on your skills and soap making, which by the way, you can start your own business and sell on Etsy, then head over to Skillshare using the link below. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video today, they're giving the first 1,000 people who click that link in the description box a free one month trial to Skillshare. And after that, it's super cheap, you get ads free, unlimited classes. It's absolutely amazing. So go click that link so you can start making a change in your life. It's a beautiful morning outside. I'm over here in La Jolla in California. Let me show you. It's amazing how beautiful it is over here. I love waking up so early in the mornings to come over here or any place that has a nice sunrise. Oh. This is why I do what I do, to be able to experience all these different places that are beautiful and different. Oh, it never gets old. Why are we afraid of change? So before I started traveling full time, I had to ask myself this question. What if I got out on the road and I decided that I absolutely hated it and that what I did was a mistake and I need to go back into a sticks and bricks lifestyle? Then what happens? What do I do? What do I do for a job? What do I do for a house? So the answer to that question for me is that financially it would cost me a little bit of money because I would have to sell this van and I probably wouldn't get the amount of money back that I purchased it for and that I would have to either rent an apartment or go buy another home and so that's gonna cost. I would have to go get another job or 
On the upside to that, if I decided that I needed to go get a job, I could potentially work remotely. Maybe I like the van and maybe I just don't like the travel. This, this is why I decided to change my life, to go out on the road and overcome my fears. I didn't get to do this very much when I lived in my sticks and bricks and I can change my scenery whenever I want. So yes, I was scared to death when I went out on the road and it's been almost five years. In May, it'll be a full five years that I started traveling out on the road. But I will tell you, I have zero regrets. Double zero regrets about doing this lifestyle. It's been pretty amazing. Oh, and by the way, there are ups and downs with this life. It's not all rainbows and unicorns, but for the most part, it's pretty darn amazing. The great thing about the van is that if you do have to get a job, you can pick anywhere in the country that you want to get that job at. Go where the job is, potentially, rather than going back to maybe one particular city that you're used to because you're in an RV. You can live out of your RV while you're working this job, if it's a job that you have to be in inside of a building instead of working remotely. So those are the things that went through my head before I decided to go down this avenue of traveling full time. I had to not only mitigate what could happen from a negative standpoint, if you will, I had to mitigate my fears, but I also had to throw in the positive side of it. What if I absolutely loved it and everything really worked out, then what? So the next time that fear gripped me when I was already traveling full time was when I decided to leave my nine to five corporate job and start my own business. I was scared to death, but I went through the what ifs again. All the negative what ifs were going through my head. What if I failed? What if I ran out of money? What if nobody liked watching my videos? What if my business just completely bombed and never even got off the ground? What if I'm horrible at creating videos? But here's the positive. What if I built this incredible business that is entertaining and inspiring and motivating to people and they actually really love it and it fulfills me on a very deep level? What if that happened? And what if it met all my needs financially? So before I quit my job, I had to mitigate all of those things in my head, all the negatives and the positives about what could happen. So if my business completely failed and I didn't even get it off the ground or it didn't meet my financial needs or I ran out of money, I could always go get another job. I could still have my own business and have clients like I used to or I could go get a nine to five job and work remotely or I could do what I said to you before which is drive my van to a city where maybe I can get a really great job and live out of my van and do that job from a brick and mortar business. That's silly, so cute. The cool thing is that there's a ton of jobs out there and there are a ton of jobs where you can work remotely. So I felt like if all of those things happen, all the negative things happen and my business completely failed and I ran out of money, I wouldn't have a problem going and finding another job. There are a lot of nine to five jobs that are not stable out there. You are 100% not in control of your employer and the business decisions that they make. So while they may really love you as an employee, they might not be able to afford you at some point or their business model changes and so they have to let you go and that happens all the time. It's really open so we're going out. So we have the ocean over on this side and we have this field over here. Now you can say that having your own business isn't stable either but for me I wanted to bet on myself. I wanted to be in control of my income and be able to figure out the various avenues of revenue that I could bring in that made me feel really good and that I could align with and that allowed my creativity to come out, which I was really desperately 
needing in my life at that time. I felt like I was just dying a slow death in this nine to five job and I needed a change. I also wanted to chase after my own dreams and not build somebody else's. when I made my first $20 on YouTube. I was so excited. I called my sister and I was like, oh my gosh, I've made $20 on YouTube. She was excited for me, but she was also laughing a little bit because she said to me, I can't believe you're excited over $20. You left this financially viable company that makes you a very good living and now you're excited about $20. And I'm like, yes, it is the best $20 that I ever made because at the end of the day, I created it. I absolutely put myself out there, busted through my fears, took a huge risk. I wasn't haphazard with my risk, it was a calculated risk. But at the end of the day, I was the one that created that $20 and I had overcome those fears and I had gone out there and figured out what made me happy and chase after my dreams of not only traveling full time, but starting my own business. So yes, that $20 was huge for me. And by the way, I didn't fail with RVing. I've been out here RVing for almost five years. I haven't failed with my business. It's completely supporting me. It took about two and a half years to become completely profitable, where it's paying for all of my bills and I'm not having to dip into my savings anymore. So am I happy about that? Absolutely, I am living my dream. It was because I took action on it and didn't allow the fears to take a hold of me and hold me back. So no matter if you're afraid of change or not, now is the time to chase after your dreams, to create your own story. That's what this channel is about, story chasing. It's all about going out there and creating your best life, creating those moments that fulfill you. Your life is going to change all around you whether you're actively looking for it or not. You can make the change or the change will happen to you. So get in the driver's seat. You have your own unique story to create. Moments like this are opportunities to show yourself how strong you are and that you can overcome your fears. Sometimes you just need a plan and someone to help you along the way. And if that's you, then consider checking out the Nomad Mentorship Bootcamp, which is linked in the description box below, that allows you to be a part of a community and put an action plan to put your dreams together. And if your dream is to full-time travel, I can absolutely help you with that. So click on the link in the description box below. 